Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find missing numbers on a number line. Now remember, to the right of zero, we have positive numbers, and to the left of zero, we have negative numbers. Another thing that I want to mention before getting into our examples is that when we move to the right on a number line, we increase in value. And when we move to the left on a number line, we decrease in value. So keep that in mind. Let's jump into our examples and see exactly how we find missing numbers on a number line, starting with number one. Now, the first thing that we want to do is take a look at what we are given and determine how far apart the numbers are on the number line. You can think of it as seeing what we're counting by. So we're given negative two and negative one. So there's a distance of one between those two numbers. We're also given one, two, three. So the distance between those numbers is one as well. So we can see that we are counting by one. Once we figure that out, we can find the missing numbers. We can either count up or count down using that distance between numbers in order to find the missing numbers. So for example, let's count down from three because we know we're counting down by one. Three, two, one, and then zero. So we have a zero for this missing number here. Let's continue to count down. Then we have negative one, negative two, and then negative three. Once we have those missing numbers filled in, we can double check. So let's count up now and see if those missing numbers that we filled in are correct. So negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, Three. So those are the correct missing numbers. Let's try another one and move on to number two. So we're going to take a look at what we're given, starting with negative 12 and then negative 11. So we have a distance of one there. Let's see if that applies to the rest of the number line. So we have negative nine, negative eight, negative seven. So we can tell that we're counting by one. So let's start at negative 12 and count up by one in order to find these missing numbers. Negative 12, negative 11, then we have negative 10. So that's our first missing number. Then we have negative nine, negative eight, negative seven, and then negative six for our other missing number. And we can always double check by counting up or down and seeing if those missing numbers fit and if they are correct. So let's count down. Negative six, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine, negative 10, negative 11, and negative 12. So those missing numbers fit in that number line. Let's move on to number three, where we have a missing number to start off with. Then we have zero, five, 10, a missing number, 20, and then another missing number. So let's take a look at what we're given. 0, 5, 10. So the distance between those numbers that we are given is 5. So it looks like we're counting up by 5. So let's do 0, 5, 10, and then fill in that missing number between 10 and 20 first. Now it doesn't matter what order you fill in the missing numbers. There are different ways to go about this. I'm giving you some strategies that you can use in order to fill in these missing numbers. So whatever works best for you. So 0, 5, 10, then we have 15. So again, we're counting by five here. Then we have 20 and then 25. Now we need to go left on our number line, decrease in value and count down. So let's start from 25 and go all the way through and then fill in that missing number. So 25, 20, 15, 10, five, zero, and then negative five. So for that one, we were counting by five. Lastly, we have number four. And for this one, we don't have any consecutive numbers, meaning we don't have any numbers on this number line next to each other, but we can still use what we're given. So we have negative 10, a missing number, negative six, a missing number, negative two, a missing number, and then two. Let's start in between negative 10 and negative six. So we have a distance of four between those two numbers. 
Well, what's going to be directly in between negative 10 and negative 6? Well, negative 8. So negative 8 goes here. And we have negative 10, negative 8, negative 6. It looks like the distance between numbers on this number line is 2. So we are counting by 2. So our next missing number is going to be negative 4. Then we have negative 2, and then 0, and then a positive 2. So we were able to use what we were given there, even though we didn't have consecutive numbers, meaning numbers next to each other, and fill in those missing numbers. You can almost think of these like filling in a pattern. We need to find that distance between the numbers on the number line, so the intervals, and then apply that to the missing numbers, counting up or counting down. So I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.